memo reportedly gives new details on the firing of McCabe's boss, James Comey, and the rationale leading up to it. Now this previously unknown account is in the hands of Robert Mueller. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge is live in Washington with more on this. Catherine. Well, thank you, Rick, and good morning. Fox News has previously reported that former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe wrote personal memos about the president's firing of his boss, Director James Comey, and those memos were turned over to special counsel Robert Mueller. This morning, a source familiar with those memos tells Fox News that McCabe does describe a meeting where Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein told those in the room that President Trump wanted Mr. Rosenstein to include Russia in his memo, which was later used as the basis to fire Comey. The deputy attorney general declined. This does confirm elements of reporting by the New York Times. The source also tells Fox News that the deputy attorney general gave McCabe a copy of a draft letter firing Comey written by President Trump, and that that letter has since been given to the special counsel as well, Rick. McCabe has been accused of not being honest, so how right. credible is his account? Well, McCabe's critics point to the fact that the former FBI deputy director was fired just days before his retirement from the bureau after the Justice Department's internal watchdog, Inspector General Michael E. Horowitz, found that McCabe lied to federal investigators about his contacts with the media. The allegations were referred to the U.S. Attorney in Washington for possible prosecution. 18 U.S.C. 1001 makes it a crime to lie to federal investigators. We're awaiting more information from Horowitz and his findings about how the FBI handled the Clinton email case, and that could come at any time. In his report on McCabe, he wrote that he lacked candor, including under oath, on multiple occasions. After that report was made public, uh, McCabe disputed the account, saying that his boss, Director Comey, uh, knew about the media contacts with The Wall Street Journal, and he seemed to turn on his old boss, so that may uh, present a conflict with what's written in uh, the memo now with the special counsel. Imagine that. Catherine Harrod in Washington. Catherine, You're welcome. Thank you.